Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. We have a new AI application, a new note-taking application, or even a new knowledge base application. This one is called recall.ai and it is looking like a really cool application. It is really early days. There is no mobile app yet or there is one in beta, uh, but the web app is working um, quite well. I have been playing around with it for a couple of days and it is looking like a really cool application. So first I will explain how the app works, then I will actually demonstrate it as well, but I will do a quick, quick explanation. Selling point of this application is that it uses AI to summarize YouTube videos as well as articles for you. I haven't actually tested it out with podcasts. That is something I should probably do because I'm looking for a way to summarize and help me take notes on podcasts as well. But basically it uh, su it summarizes everything uh, quite well. It puts it into um, timestamps and gives the timestamps a header and it also creates backlinks for you which is uh, really cool. That is something I haven't seen in other applications but it also has a graph view where you can see how everything is linked together. So this looks a lot better after using the app for a while. I've only been using it for a couple of days and every note I have in here is actually from today. Uh, and I am just testing it out to demonstrate it to you guys. Uh, but as you can see, it creates backlinks for you and it actually does uh, a good job. Uh, like for this how to achieve your business goals, it actually made ClickUp as a, a project management software uh, and I can give it the tag app because that is something I have. Uh, but I will remove the tag place so you can do a little bit of customization with the tagging after you have saved something. But uh, it has everything you would look for. It also works with Markdown so you can do basic text formatting using Markdown and you can even upload images here as well, um, which is something I like a lot. I like to have images in my note-taking app. But let's demonstrate how this work and how a workflow would look in uh, an application like this. Uh, so if I now uh, pull up a YouTube video, for example, let's see if I can find one. Um, this is actually one we just tested out or I just showed you. Let's do this one right here and let's press pause there and we will uh, use recall to generate this for me. I will actually have to uh, watch this podcast episode later but as you can see it takes a little while. You can press auto save when complete but I like to just see through it. Uh, and as you can see, it has created a good summary right here. We can scroll back up and press save. Uh, and once we have pressed save, it should appear in our knowledge base right here. And it has, and as you can see, it has created backlinks here as well. If I now press the graph button right here, you can see a graph view where it shows me what everything is uh, what everything is inside of or what it has backlinked inside of this um, podcast episode I have saved. As you can see, it isn't necessarily always right. Um, I'm not sure uh, that interceptions only apply in American football. It applies in uh, European football as well, or what we call football. But um, and I would probably not backlink interception ever. So it isn't uh, perfect like many of the AI applications. None of them are actually perfect, but it does quite a good job. So things like um, the nervous system, it has actually backlinked. This is something I would like to backlink. So it does an okay job, but you have the ability to capture your own notes as well. You can do that by pressing the plus sign, which is behind my head, or with the keyboard shortcuts, control K. And you can save, uh, search for things. Uh, for example, I can search for Notion. 
and I can use uh, one of my own. This is actually one I have here, or I can use uh, this one right here, but I prefer to use my own, but I could also actually write a new idea. So write a new idea and I could create an empty card called write a new idea. I could give it tags. I could use markdown to format text uh, and I can actually do a lot in here. You can also use this to format text. But let's say I wanted to link this back to Notion, I can. Uh, so I first have to write Notion, then I have to mark this and press Notion and it will link it back to my Notion page right here. And if I open the graph view on this, you can see that it is linked now. Now I will just go ahead and I will delete this. One thing I dislike about the graph view is that whenever I press something in the graph view, it doesn't open up in this window. It actually opens a whole nother window. Let me just show you that again. If I press this right here, it opens a new tab, uh, which isn't something I am necessarily a big fan of, but it is a minor problem. Uh, but as I said, you can take your own notes in here as well, which is great. That is something I feel like a lot of these summarizing knowledge base AI applications lack the ability to take your own notes, write down your own notes. That is something really important in my opinion. Um, and you also have something called recall uh, review where you can uh, get questions from your knowledge base and answer those questions to make sure that you have actually remembered something. Uh, this application, in my opinion, is best for people who read a lot of articles, watch a lot of YouTube videos that has something to do with their line of work or they need it for an article or something they are writing later. And that's who I think this application is best for. Uh, I would personally not use uh, this application as my go-to note-taking app uh, for a couple of reasons. It isn't made for my specific use case where I mainly capture images and I capture uh, notes that has something to do with visual projects, whether that's a YouTube video idea with a link or an image from another YouTube video or it is um, a piece of clothing that inspired me for my clothing brand, I can actually save all of these things in a different application uh, that does a better job at it compared to Recall. But Recall is probably for those who capture a lot of text and capture a lot of articles, do a lot of reading. I uh, prefer to write my own notes when it comes to um, articles and books and things like that. Uh, even YouTube videos, I like to take my own notes. But um, the summarization is really good and you could go through and you could read all of this, uh, all of this right here and try to remember it and use the, uh, use the, um, a recall feature to see if you remember everything. So that is really cool. Uh, now let's, uh, it can do so for podcasts as well. So it actually can, uh, well, YouTube videos in podcasts. I was wondering whether or not it could do it for uh, Spotify podcasts, but I guess you could actually just open uh, the video podcast, which most, which most um, note, which most podcasts now actually have. They have a video. But let's just take a look at the pricing here as well. Let's just press this. Uh, generate a summary. It actually can't summarize in Norwegian. Uh, but it. let's see if it can summarize Norwegian into English. That is something I'm wondering if it is able to do. And it actually can. Um, so that is something to keep in mind as well. It doesn't work in every language, but it will turn the language into Norwegian. Pricing wise, it has a Recall Light plan, which is free forever. It has a Recall Plus plan, which costs you $7 per month, billed yearly. 
a really good price. This gives you unlimited AI generated summaries while you get uh, unlimited um, app knowledge cards, which is basically notes. You get that either way monthly. It will cost you $10 each month. Still, I think it is a fair price for what it is offering. As I said, this is best if you read a lot of articles, you do a lot of research. Uh, this might be an application for you. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below and I will try to get to them as soon as I can. Thank you so, so much for watching today's video.